Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the Go STEM series. This is a series of videos designed to help science teachers prepare for the new science exams that are coming out in 2020 and 2021. It's really important when you're getting ready for these new exams to know your content. So we're gonna look at some of that content on these exams through these videos. If you're taking the MTEL 10 science exam, the general science exam, make sure you start with the core vocabulary. These are the terms in blue from the workshop. You know, these terms right here, they may seem basic, but they're really th the foundation for all the exams. So make sure if you're taking the MTEL 10 exam, make sure you start here. And obviously, if you're taking any of the other exams, you should review these ones as well. These other terms are more specific, maybe for a biology or chemistry teacher or a physics teacher. Start with the ones here. Make sure you know the basics, like what's the scientific method, or what's an example of a natural phenomena, reliability, validity, or the difference between cellular respiration and photosynthesis. These core ideas are very important for teachers that are taking the MTEL 10 exam. Knowing what the circulatory system is, knowing the function of the circulatory system, the basic parts of the circulatory system, your heart, your blood, your blood vessels, like your arteries and veins and capillaries, I mean, this would be essential if you had to write an essay on the circulatory system. And this would be very appropriate for a teacher that's taking a, a middle school exam or even the general curriculum exam. What's the circulatory system? What are the parts of the circulatory system? What's the function of each of the parts? Or the respiratory system? What makes up the respiratory system? Oh, that's things like the, the lungs and the diaphragm. But try and go a little further. Oh, that includes the nasal cavity and the mouth and the, the trachea. Oh, and the respiratory system has to do with injecting oxygen into the blood system for cellular respiration and removing carbon dioxide, a waste product, after cellular respiration out of the body. Knowing the basics on the circulatory system and the respiratory system, you know, this would be really essential if you were taking a basic science exam or the MTEL 10 exam. Even ideas like cellular respiration, Understanding that cellular respiration is a chemical reaction. It happens in cells, in the mitochondria. The cell is using glucose or sugar and oxygen, and through cellular respiration, releasing energy for cellular function. And as byproducts of cellular respiration, we have a little bit of carbon dioxide and a little bit of water that are removed out of the cell, through the capillaries, through the veins, back to the heart and lungs to get out of the body. You know, sometimes the basic stuff is the most important stuff. These are the questions that, that, that you might have that um, are 30 second questions that you can get right that might make the difference between passing or not passing. So whenever you're doing studies on cellular respiration that's taking place in the mitochondria of a cell, you should also think about photosynthesis that's taking place in chloroplasts in plant cells. Let's look at some basic questions that you could be asked if you're taking the MTEL 10 exam. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.